Lift Him Up, September 1 Spiritual and Physical Maladies Healed And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. This world is a vast Lazar house, but Christ came to heal the sick, to proclaim deliverance to the captives of Satan. He was in himself health and strength. He imparted his life to the sick, the afflicted, those possessed of demons. He turned away none who came to receive his healing power. He knew that those who petitioned him for help had brought disease upon themselves, yet he did not refuse to heal them. And when virtue from Christ entered into these poor souls, they were convicted of sin, and many were healed of their spiritual disease, as well as of their physical maladies. The gospel still possesses the same power, and why should we not today witness the same results? Christ feels the woes of every sufferer, when evil spirits rend a human frame, Christ feels the curse. When fever is burning up the life current, he feels the agony. And he is just as willing to heal the sick now as when he was personally on earth. Christ's servants are his representatives, the channels for his working. He desires through them to exercise his healing power. In the Savior's manner of healing, there were lessons for his disciples. On one occasion, he anointed the eyes of a blind man with clay and bade him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seeing. The cure could be wrought only by the power of the great healer. Yet Christ made use of the simple agencies of nature. To many of the afflicted ones who received healing, Christ said, Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Thus he taught that disease is the result of violating God's laws, both natural and spiritual. The great misery in the world would not exist did men but live in harmony with the Creator's plan. Christ had been the guide and teacher of ancient Israel and he taught them that health is the reward of obedience to the laws of God. The great physician who healed the sick in Palestine had spoken to his people from the pillar of cloud, telling them what they must do and what God would do for them. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, he said, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. When they fulfilled the conditions, the promise was verified to them. There was not one feeble person among their tribes. 